I drew this in with chalk at first and with acrylic paint and now I'm about to put in a coat of this all-purpose joint compound. I was going to go for some sort of clay, some lime clay or gypsum clay, but I didn't find any right away, so I think that'll be fine. It's gonna be an experiment anyway, so let's see how it comes out. This story starts with a bucket of mud. Drywall mud, or joint compound as it likes to be called, seemed the most convenient and immediately available option to create a bar-relief dandelion wall mural at that moment. It was the lazy option, of course. Drywall mud is the fast food of the bath relief world. But what is bar relief, you ask, and why do you say it like that? Here's a majestic example by artist Goga Tandashvili that turned me onto this marvelous artistic technique. A bar relief is a word of French origin, bar relief, that comes from the Italian balso relief, or meaning low relief. It is an artistic technique that involves lightly carving a design into a surface. Most coins have images stamped on them in bas-relief. In this case, we will bring out the gigantic dandelions out of my kitchen wall. But more about dandelions later. Of course, you can use some other materials for bas-relief that are much more dignified than the lesser joint compound that I use in my first ever relief mural such as gypsum, plaster, clay, scagliola, which is marble stucco, marmorino, stone, ivory, wood, etc. Lucky for me, it turns out that there is a drywall art trend going around that I was able to glean some knowledge from the interwebs. They're all pretty repetitive, those videos. That's why I thought I would redeem them with this genius video for you. This is day two. I put a layer of a plaster joint compound over the whole painting. I'm gonna need to put another layer or build up the layer so that things are more relieved, more coming out of the wall. It did start to crack where the layer is thicker, so I'm gonna go back once it's all dry and add another layer to build up dimension. Should be fun! Let's do it! The other beginner choice would have been Plaster of Paris, also known as gypsum, which comes in a powder form that needs to be mixed with water. It sets pretty fast from what I have read in 20-30 minutes, so you have a small window of time to work it in. Joint compound, on the other hand, comes in pre-mixed buckets and it dries slow, which means that you have time to sculpt it and form it. The downside is that you can only apply thin coats and if you apply too much, it slows off the wall and it can crack as it dries. By the third day, I wisened up to using a Ziploc bag to apply the paste to the wall in a more intentional and precise manner. Precise here being used in a very loose way. The dandelion pop was a b to get right. At one point, I wished that I had stopped at the first layer, but things always work out one way or another. Three or four layers of mud later, I was ready and in fact itching to start sculpting. For sculpting, I use these large ribbon tools to smooth the larger shapes and get everything smooth enough to start carving out smaller details with the smaller loop tools. They worked pretty well, however, there were some victims that did not pass the test of my abusive hand. Or they were just too weak for the task. No need to take an extra guilt on this journey, eh? I do hate when things break though. I did order some new tools that seem much sturdier, but alas, they arrived after I had already started painting. The carving process was much awaited and I really enjoyed the first month. After a while, the whole having to wear a mask for protection indoors and making a dusty mess that traveled throughout my whole kitchen and into the rest of the house were indeed a dreaded ordeal. But I managed to get through that too, and the last step was making that dandelion puff look less like a tangled bowl of noodles and more like a botanical item. I was also excited about creating some texture to the wall surrounding the sculpture. with 
with all the sculpting and everything. So I'm gonna apply some of this again on the walls around the sculpture to create some extra texture to the wall. So let's do that. It was pretty satisfying. A bit tricky going around the line, but the rest of the kitchen walls got the wall texture treatment too. And those actually came out much nicer as I could work a larger area, which is much easier and enjoyable. Now I'm gonna prime this wall. I use a pleasing charcoal color to cover the entire wall with a dark uniform color. This again was very pleasurable. And if I hadn't already had an agenda in mind, we could have just left it like that and it would have been such a stunning work of art but then again the hard work has been done so now we can have fun and experiment now we're ready for the copper finish technique i use the reactive copper paint from modern masters but first the metal effects blocking primer i really love the way the primer made everything look like leather i could have just left it like that <laughs> Reminds me of something warm, urban, fall or winter, terracotta, leather. Then one coat of the copper paint, then the second coat. While the second coat of copper was still wet, I applied the green metal effects aging solution. This step was a bit tricky. First time the drips were unpleasing, so I wiped as much green powder off when it was dry, then darkened it a bit, then reprimed and recoppered. This time I dabbed instead of spritz. The results were so bad, I didn't even think to record them. The third time was the last. I found it difficult to achieve a good balance of color and still retain the darks in the crevices. So lastly, after oxidizing the wall, I applied a dark gray wash to bring the darks in the cracks to create a bit of dimension and contrast. And in the process, I did lose some of the blue of the verdigris, but I guess you can't have everything. In the end, I want to say that I still love my kitchen wall, not too shabby for my first attempt at a bas-relief mural, who knows? I might give the copper oxidizing process another try at some point. I got a brand new bottle just for that. This is the longest project that I have ever undertaken. I started in the spring of 2022 in April and I was finished at last at the end of August. It was a relief <laughs> to have finished this project really. And you might inquire why a dandelion? And I know some of you Philistines buy toxic chemicals to eradicate this magical plant from your pristine grass lawns. But contrary to popular belief, dandelions are not just pesky garden weeds. In fact, people have used the plant to help treat ailments for several centuries. From root to flower, dandelions are highly nutritious plants loaded with vitamins, minerals and fiber. Dandelion greens can be eaten cooked or raw and are excellent source of vitamins A, C, K, E, folate and small amounts of other B vitamins. They may help inflammation, promote liver health and may aid in weight loss. A yearly tradition in spring is to collect the dandelion flowers and to make dandelion petal cookies. They are so yummy! With their golden flowers in the early spring, Dandelions represent the return of life, the rebirth of growth, and green after a harsh winter and a display of abundant strength and power. The dandelion has grown to become the perfect symbol of survival and rebellion, a beautiful fighter that refuses to follow rules and regulations. It also introduces uncontrolled chaos and randomness to our supposedly organized lives, so we also associate it with hope, dreams and play. Perhaps this is why we simultaneously love and hate the dandelion so much. Well, thanks for listening to me and watching, and I hope you got some enjoyment out of this video. I would like to express a huge thank you to my patrons for their thoughtful support. Cheryl, Kristen, Eddie, Ingrid, Jackie, and Lewis. 
As always, my dear artist, stay creative and as resilient as a dandelion. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Drown me up the coast, boy. Wanna hear the ocean roar. Crash over me. Then ride it home. Dance it up in moonlight. Hold me tight and don't let go. Watch over me. We are, we are all stardust, stardust, stardust. Left behind, left to find. Find one another, another, another. Face the sun, fear no one. Cause we are all one. We are all, we are all one. We are all, we are all one. We are all, we are all one. We are, we are all.